Welcome to the Business Resilience Decoded podcast, brought to you by Asfalis Advisors and the Disaster Recovery Journal. Crisis management in today's world is ever-changing, and this podcast is our commitment to help you navigate successful outcomes for any crisis you may face. I'm your host, Vanessa Matthews. I specialize in providing insights and solutions for crisis, continuity, and resilience across industries from real estate and healthcare to terrorism in the airline and transportation worlds. No matter what industry you're in, this podcast will provide you the tools to build resilience in your organization. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Resilience Decoded podcast. Today's title is four things business resilience professionals need to focus on right now. Number one is pandemics. There is currently a global monkeypox outbreak with over 14,000 reported cases in the United States. While it is significantly less deadly than COVID-19, it can still pose a risk to high-risk populations. Now is a good time to encourage contactless greetings in the office and consider offering hybrid or remote work opportunities for high-risk employees if you don't already have that in place. Number two is extreme weather. Farmers Almanac just released their extreme weather forecast for 2022-2023, and due to climate change, we can see that extreme winter weather this year, as we have in many other cities over, over the past few years. How might your primary areas of operation be affected? How will your, your vendors, employees, and supply chains be affected? What will you do if you have an extended IT outage? If you haven't already considered this, now is the time before temperatures start dropping. Number three, active shooter procedures. With midterm elections coming up in November, there are a lot of important issues driving people to the polls. We have also seen many individuals driven to extreme and violent behavior. So it's important to ensure your active shooter and bomb threat procedures are strong and that your organization is fully informed of them. We released an episode on this topic this month that we will link in the show notes as well. Number four is the impeding recession. This recession is not expected to be anywhere near as detrimental as the Great Recession in 2007 and 2009, but it's still important to prepare for it. We just released a podcast episode on how to prepare and have more resources on this to come. But in the meantime, you can look at historical data for your organization to see how you fared in recessions and what your greatest vulnerabilities are. And lastly, the thing that resilience professionals need to prepare for now are geopolitical risks. There are a lot of major political topics and issues in the news causing a lot of divisiveness, from Roe versus Wade decisions and other upcoming Supreme Court decisions, to the 2024 presidential election, to social justice issues that continue to be at the forefront, we are facing a lot of geopolitical threats. As a business, you need to be prepared for civil unrest in and around your offices. And more importantly, you need to be prepared by having conversations about what these things look like and how it's affecting your employees. Hopefully, this sparks some discussion points for you to bring to your team as you prepare. Don't forget to celebrate your team's wins before jumping into the next crisis. Thank you for listening to the Business Resilience Decoded podcast, brought to you by Asfalis Advisors and Disaster Recovery Journal. Make sure you check out the show notes for this episode to see all the upcoming events, programs, and ways we can support you. Make sure you subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcasts, leave us a review, and share it with a friend. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you in the next episode.